I, I just want to go through a couple of things here that just kind of make my make my brain hurt a little bit. We've got my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are screaming about corporate America paying their fair share. Okay, if we whatever that number is. Okay, because of the Inflation Reduction Act and the, and the, infra, uh, the infrastructure plan, there have been trillions of dollars, over a trillion dollars worth of tax credits made available to corporate America, right? So the very people that my, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle say they want to pay higher taxes, the, the wealthiest corporations and the wealthiest individuals can now buy these tax credits and their effective rate becomes zero. Correct? Uh, that's correct. Yeah. That's All right. So, so, so we're, we're screaming about we're screaming about corporate America paying more taxes, and yet we're going to turn around and give them what it now is about a one point two trillion dollar tax credit to offset the tax rates. So we're going to raise you, but we're going to allow you to pay zero. I, I just want to make sure I'm I'm right on that, right? Oh, that's absolutely correct. Okay. It's All right. Called, got that. It's called Num number two. Subsidizing and, and penalizing at the same time. Exactly. So that's a, that's that's number one. Number two. Pillar two, OECD, that is going to remove 300 plus billion dollars from, from the revenue stream if that goes through. 300 billion. So now we're, 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 we're telling corporate America, we're, we want you to pay more and higher taxes, but we're going to give you a $1.2 trillion offset. And then, by the way, we're going to give about $300 billion of our taxing authority away to other countries. Now, that to me just is a really bad policy. And then I hear my colleagues talking about raising tax rate, lowering tax rate, doing it with Clinton, doing it after Clinton, before Clinton. We need to recognize that we are in a global economy and we need to be doing everything that we can with our economy to make America the best place in the world to invest, create jobs, and sell around the world, period. So. We can have a lot of discussions over spending where things should go, but the one the the, the unifying philosophy should philosophy for this body should be: Are the decisions that we're making make America more competitive or less competitive? Do they create more jobs? Do they take away more jobs? Are we doing more to invest in research and development and come up with new ideas, or are we trading that away to other parts of the world? So when we look at all of this debate about revenue and spending, I, I raise the corporate rate 10%. Raise the individual rate to 40%. These folks are going to take advantage of the refundable credits and make their effective tax rate zero. So how in the heck does that make sense? I mean, it, it, feel, it feel free, Mr. Sense. McBride. I agree. I agree. Uh, the, the major outcome of that approach is... Uh, complication, further complication of the tax code. So the uh, lots of measures of how complex the tax code is, but one is the number of words, about 4 million words and counting. All right. So if we, for, for those of, for folks that have not lived in an area or that currently do live in an area without a manufacturing base, okay, it, it, it is incredibly difficult to sustain a community or a county or a state unless you have manufacturing there. Okay, I, I mean it just is, and when I say manufacturing, a major job creator that is the back, the economic backbone of a county or, or or a city or a region, that is what feeds off all of the other small jobs and small businesses that uh, that, that we see growing in a, in a community. So if we raise the corporate tax rate, okay, and we do not get away, and, and we don't move off the snide on this on uh, on this. Uh, tax po uh, trade policy that we've got, we're falling further behind. And by the way, we're going to see less tax revenue coming in because we're giving people refundable credits and we're giving away part of our taxing authority to the tune of about $300 billion. And by the way, what does that do? Does that do anything for American competitiveness and job creation? Mr. McBride, I'll let you answer that question. And no. Uh, uh, it, it what it does is you could say level the playing field, but levels the playing field across the world with a higher level of corporate taxes, which uh, but but but, wait, but, but, but I mean, right, so our, our level it with higher but level it with higher taxes. But our, we have our biggest corporations aren't going to be paying taxes because they're going to use the refundable credits. 
That's from right. the so, so what we're getting is a high marginal rate for that apply that applies generally, combined with a bunch of preferences for for specific companies. Industries time, and uh, t t time has expired, but thank you for, for helping me expose the the hypocrisy Ms. of this conversation. Ms. Thank Chicago. you. Yo,